So President Biden speaking to reporters today after meeting with Jewish leaders at the White House. The president pledging to stand with Israel as the war intensifies. Our D.C. Bureau Chief Ben Kennedy is live at the White House to continue our team coverage. Ben. Nicole and Calvin, President Biden said he'll do everything in his power to bring home Americans safe. And as you were talking about, he just met with Jewish community leaders right here behind me at the White House minutes ago. Let's take you to that video. And it comes after the first round of U.S. aid is already on the ground in Tel Aviv. And more will come, including intercept missiles to replenish the Iron Dome. This attack uh, was uh, a campaign of pure cruelty. Not, not just hate, but for cruelty against the Jewish people. And I would argue it's the deadliest day for Jews since the Holocaust. The deadliest day since the Holocaust. One of the worst chapters in human history to remind us all that, that expression I learned from my dad early on, silence is complicity. His remarks come after he spoke with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu on the phone this morning for a second day in a row to make clear the U.S. will continue to stand with Israel. We continue to monitor the situation in Israel very closely. As President Joe Biden remained focused Wednesday on unwavering support for Israel in the wake of Hamas terrorist attacks. This attack has brought to the surface the painful memories and scars left by a millennia of anti-Semitism and genocide against the Jewish people. His remarks as the White House. I just want to take a moment. Updated the number of Americans killed in the Middle East assault to 22, with 17 U.S. citizens still unaccounted for. We know that these numbers are likely to increase in the days ahead. In response, Secretary of State Anthony Lincoln boarded a plane bound for Tel Aviv. It's there he'll work with top hostage envoys and even U.S. allies in an effort to bring unaccounted Americans home safe. To determine their whereabouts and if they have been taken hostage by Hamas uh, to work to secure their release. In the meantime, U.S. intel agencies continue to investigate if Hamas had help from Iran in this attack. We obviously recognize that there's broad complicity here by the Iranians, I mean, because of the longstanding support to Hamas. And at this point, there is no proof they were directly involved. Meanwhile, the U.S. is working with Egypt and Israel to try to get civilians out of Gaza safely. Reporting live in Washington, D.C., Ben Kennedy. Local 10 News. Ben, thank you. Only local